we we had these dances with others or other private schools and um, I was feeling this other girl from another school and knowing another person from another school is like the biggest thing the biggest deal ever ever it was like you are the coolest person on the planet for knowing another person from another school so I had the balls to go and uh, talk to this girl with the help of I think somebody else from that school and from then I started talking to this other girl and I got over kind of of this fascination with Janan it started I started to to get to know this girl and man I felt so right and I was like ah, finally someone who likes me back finally I, I talked to talked to her and we talked for a good good amount of time but it didn't last long eventually broke up with her because I was in love with Janelle. Yeah. High school, freshman year of high school um, started and uh, this was a new territory for me. It was a new ball game. It, for me, it was a new fresh start because being in a private school conditions you to, to think a certain way, feel a certain way, and a bunch of bullshit stuff. Not to say that it wasn't a good experience, but I, I went to, to, to public high school knowing that I thought I knew what I, I thought I was prepared for the real world, but in reality I wasn't because private school conditions you to be in this bubble, this bubble that you feel safe in, and then once you, they let you go, usually people are supposed to go to a private high school, but I ended up in a public high school. So, I was like, shit, I'm not prepared for this. And there are different types of folks in this high school that I'm not, that I'm not used to. There were these spurts in my life where I uh, think about a, a guy and I think he's cute. But also, I would reject that thought and say, no, that's wrong. You can't, you can't like that. You can't be like that. I would even, I remember times where I would pray at night, pray at night to the Lord and say, why, Lord, why am I gay? Like, please help me. Please help me understand why I'm gay. And those are, those honestly were the hardest moments, um, even before I even came up. Those were the hardest moments for me because I didn't understand what the hell was going on. I did not understand. But I would pray to God to ask Him to heal me because this was wrong. I society society tells me to like a girl, to love a girl, but why am I feeling otherwise? What was going on? So freshman year comes, and um, I started to accumulate these feelings inside, and I was like, what the hell is going on? What is going on with these feelings inside? And, and it was just building up, building up, and building up emotions, where I myself was like, okay, there's these emotions, and they're pretty strong, and they're telling me something. I gotta filter things up. It was the end of freshman year where I decided to tell somebody. To tell somebody that I think I'm gay, but I don't want to be called gay. I, I think I'm bi. I'll say I'm bi. I'm bi. Because that's better than gay. So I decided to tell my then best friend uh, from middle school. His name is Kyle. And he was my best friend. We were supposed to, to be at the same school, and we are like this, dude. Like, I knew his family and everything, everything. And high school came, and unfortunately, like, it was the hardest for, for me freshman year because I didn't have my best friend, and, like, it just wasn't the same anymore. It just wasn't the same. But I think he was one of the first people that I told. And I was like, hey, dude, I... I'm gay, and like, I think I already had, um, a gay experience with somebody, too, 
and I decided to tell him, to tell him more about that experience, and I guess that was wrong for me, but in my head, I, I was thinking that he's my best friend, he should accept me for who I am, so it shouldn't matter, and I guess it, it was too much for him to handle, and it just wasn't the same after that. I, in the end, lost uh, my first best friend. <laughs> um, it's really hard. Yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, man. It's really hard for me to lose that best friend of mine because, uh, because I, I poured so much heart and soul into that friendship. And <laughs> He was the one. <laughs> he was the one that I turned to a lot. And for him not to, to understand what I was going through, not to understand what. <laughs> not to accept me for what I was saying, it was really, really hard. Really hard. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. <sighs> so, moving on to that, I, I decided to tell Janelle. I decided to tell her that I was bi, I was gay. And the first thing that this girl says to me is, Who did you like in 8th grade? I was like, for real? This is one of the first things you asked me. Not, wow, I'm surprised. But, who was the first person you liked? I was, I was in shock. I was like, you jerk. You cannot be asking for this right now. I told her and, and on and it, it just it started from there. It really started from there. <sighs> um, it was like sophomore year. Um, I was dealing with internal stuff and um, I told a few people, um, but I don't think I I told anyone that was in my school, in my high school. So I told um, my two girlfriends at the time, uh, they ended up being my best friends, I told Josephine and, and Jamie, <laughs> coming out is, has its many um, stories, and the funny things about coming out is the reactions that people have, and I love coming out to people for the first time because their reactions are priceless, at least for me, so I told Jamie in Spanish class, <laughs> I guess it was the wrong thing to do because she yelled and she was like, "What? What?" She was so, she was <laughs> she was so shocked that it was hilarious, and I was like, I told her, and um, and ever since then it, it, it wasn't the same. I was able to tell her all the stuff about me, and I <sighs> one down, um, another one to go. So I told Josephine and. I really don't remember how I told her, but I just remember that I just kept on going and going and going as far as how I was feeling, my experiences, all this stuff. Whew, it just felt like, man, is this what it feels to be me, to finally be who I am? And they didn't expect it from me because I wasn't your typical gay guy who was like, hey girl, hey, what is up? I didn't like fashion that much. I wasn't. I I was a normal guy that I liked guys, but at the time I said I like girls too, which I did. But I don't know. So coming out was one 